Imagine achieving the perfect score, navigating the twists and turns of JE Main with finesse. Watch out for this video and get ready to supercharge your preparations and set your sights on success for JE Main April 10th. It was online due to COVID, so I, it wasn't much pressure or anything. It was just uh, just trying to get a feel of things and just trying to understand what is required to reach some great engineering college and then the main preparation just started in class 11th only uh, for the first few months i kind of fell behind but uh, like soon i realized that everything's gonna be okay and this is a very like kind of long-term thing and you just need to keep going and i watch youtube and i am on whatsapp but that's just it so like uh, the social media part never really became a problem for me and yes uh, a lot of support was there from friends and family and that was important somewhere it is about priorities also like you have to manage both but uh, you matlab you can't be like i will score the best i will score 99.9 percentile here also and in boards also i will be like 100 percent like you need to be clear that which one is your priority and then like try giving some time to the other thing also like for boards in december i especially gave the pre-boards and all so like i did not have a lot of pressure coming into january about that mm -hmm. and then uh, obviously then uh, february i have spent completely almost completely on my boards uh, so yeah, but uh, January was completely dedicated to Jamin's office. So uh, yes, the first uh, first thing is to like sort out your priorities and how you want to uh, plan for which exam you want to aim. Means like as I told, I was preparing for uh, like basically JE advanced since class like middle of class 10th or like the serious preparation started in class 11 but i had been preparing for j advanced for a long time uh, but the like major thing that the separate thing that i did for j means was just solving the past year questions and like past year papers and i just solved a lot of them matlab unse hi sabse zyada jo score improve hua wo sirf past year papers se hi hua like I tried to figure out an order in which I'll attempt the paper. So I just tried every possible order that first I'll try this subject section B, let's say. First I'll start with uh, physics section B or first I'll start with chemistry section A. So I'll just try, I just tried all the orders and the I didn't chose the one I was most comfortable with. And apart from this, uh, in the analysis, I, I didn't go too deep. I just saw what my mistakes were and then I just like if I'm doing mistake from, from a particular concept then I would just read through that section from my notes or from NCRT and that helped and I and I also maintained a kind of notebook uh, in which I just wrote all down my uh, I wrote down all my mistakes and then I just reviewed them at regular intervals not to get on a routine but routines just didn't work for me so i like in the last month i especially just focused on getting my sleep schedule right so that i can be alert during the time of paper so i just started sleeping a bit earlier and started waking on the correct time apart from that uh, i like in the last month i didn't do a lot of maths i just focused on physics and chemistry because I felt a bit confident in maths that I could score well, but uh, especially in chemistry, I felt that there were a lot of things that I still needed to learn. So last month was, uh, I think it would be, be a little easy on yourself. Maybe the mistake wasn't entirely yours this time. So uh, keep that in mind and uh, otherwise just like, again in the last month, I think not a lot can be done. Uh, the best thing you can do is to go through NCRTs because uh, every year the trend that I observed and some of my teachers told me was that the NCRT line by line questions are very prominent in J-Main's examination. So that one thing and uh, then yes, uh, mock tests obviously 
because they tell you like the time strategy and all and that is very important because i feel uh, that uh, one thing that uh, many of my peers were complaining about was that the at the last uh, on the exam day the the nerves were too much and the pressure was too high so uh, when you give mock test and you attempt previous year papers you feel a little bit relaxed uh, when you actually go into the exam also i would definitely suggest that that i would say is like syllabus completion is very important because this time i saw that uh, there were some particular chapters i this i just saw this in some online discussion that people were talking that uh, from some chapters the, the they had taken a lot of questions and some chapters were not so common so like you never know uh, which chapter will or which concept will uh, take the priority in the exam so i think the first priority is to be like well versed with everything uh, and uh, if you don't really have uh, too much time right now and if you want some important topics or chapters i would recommend that to like ask your teachers uh, like they are the best guides because they have been seeing this industry and this journey and this exam for like decades by now so uh, i i i have just exam i mean uh, i have just take in this exam fun so uh, regarding the important topics or how to or which or which subjects to focus on right now i would just tell that uh, ask your teachers they know you best and they know the exam best so please trust them during this final time